my dear brothers and sisters, you cannot even imagine how I feel now in front of this huge and wonderful congregation of saints called to speak in this historical tabernacle. I don't know why my legs support my body now, but <laughs> this is the experience I never wanted to have. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, President Hinckley called me and asked me to accept this calling, it came to my mind the remembrance of a time in the history of the people of God, Israel, when they had to face their enemies and they assembled a huge army of strong soldiers and they presented themselves in front of the Lord to go to battle. And the Lord didn't accept this army and the, he reduced it. And he reduced it again and again until only 300 people rested. And with this ridiculous army, he defeated the enemy and he destroyed the enemies of his people. This is the way I feel about my calling in this position. The Lord chose to put a ridiculous person in this position using my weakness and my inability so that he could prove that he is God. He is the Lord. He is in charge. Even using my poor and broken English, he can do his work. And it is because I believe this I know this. I know that he leads. He is in charge, as I told President Hinckley, that I accept this calling in humility, but in this certainty that the Lord is with me, and he leads. He governs, and this is his kingdom. I know that the Lord lives. I know that President Kimball is a prophet. Oh, I know that. I could tell you some stories, but time is not enough now. I know that I'm a child of God, and that's, that this gospel is the plan for the happiness of all the children of God in this world. And this I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.